Did you know that we have a small but growing number of Australian YouTube channels? That's what I'm here to share with you today. And with so many new Aussie homeschoolers out there, we thought it was about time that we all took a moment to introduce ourselves. And so it's time for a Meet the Teacher collaboration. So all of the Australian homeschooling YouTube channels, or the ones that I'm aware of anyway, are all joining together with me today in a special Q&A so that you can get to know us a little bit better. So what we have done is put together a playlist for you. Each of us on our channels are going to be answering the same set of questions. So when you're finished watching this video, pop on down to the description box below and there'll be a link to the playlist so that you can jump across and meet all of the other Australian homeschooling YouTubers. So as I said, so you can get to know us a little better, we've all come up with one set of questions and we're all going to answer them on our own channels. We value your time and we know how busy you are. So we are aiming to keep these videos as short as we possibly can, which will allow you the time to sit and watch or listen to all of them in the playlist. Okay, so let's jump into the questions so you can get to know me just a little bit better. I just have each question listed here, so that's what I'm looking at. All right, so question number one, when did you start homeschooling and why? Okay, I'm gonna give you a really brief answer to this one because I have answered that, I think, in my homeschooling methods and philosophy video, I've gone into more detail on that. Maybe I should look back through and see that I've actually given you our story, because I don't know if I have. Anyway, um, my eldest did prep, or kindy, it's prep here where I am, uh, for six months at least. But just a few weeks in, I knew every ounce of my being was just, what are we doing? Why are we here? This nothing felt right about sending my child away for six, seven hours of the day away from me and us getting him for just a couple of hours of every day. None of that felt right. So that was back in 2007 and we removed him halfway through his prep year. And we haven't looked back. So question two, how many children do you have and what are their ages right now? So I have three kids. My eldest is 20. I have a 17 year old and I have a 13 year old. Okay, question number three. What is your philosophy around home educating? And how does this look in a practical sense on a day-to-day -day basis? Okay, if you've been here for any length of time, you're probably already going to know this one because I talk about my philosophy a lot around here on the channel. But in a nutshell, we do what works until it stops working. And then we find something else that does work. So we are very much eclectic homeschoolers. We are really very relaxed in our manner of homeschooling. I wholeheartedly believe that we can give our children a solid, rich education in around 10 hours a week. And I've got teenagers, remember, for younger kids, that's even less time. I wholeheartedly believe that if we're living an active, rich life out in our community, seeking out opportunities wherever they are, then all we need to be doing here at home is around that 10 hours a week of focused book work for older kids. If you haven't watched my video on the five hour school week um, book review, I'd recommend to give that one a watch. Um, it just may get you to think about things a little bit differently. It's a good one. Okay, question four. Do you work or study whilst homeschooling? This one's a bit of a loaded question or maybe I find it a bit triggering for me because there's nothing formal or official that I do, but I wholeheartedly believe that my job as a home educating parent is a full-time job. I need to plan and follow through on educational programs for three children with three very different learning styles, three very different needs, three very different ages and levels. That in itself is a full-time job. Put on top of the fact that we homeschooling parents are, are, have their social lives and their emotional well-being here in our hands. It's a lot to take on. In terms of study, I've not done anything formal, but I have maintained some type of blog or website and now this YouTube channel um, for the bulk of our homeschooling years. There's been a lot of learning involved in that and I've loved doing that immensely because I've learned so much from doing so. I've also always been very active in uh, creating events and running co-ops, so I've learned skills along the way with there, but nothing formal, no. 
Um, what are we up to? Question number five. Do you have any formal qualifications related to children or education? I'm a mum of nearly 21 years and a homeschool mum of 16 years. That is my formal qualification. Um, question number six. What type of schedule do you keep for your homeschool? Okay, I do have a whole video on schedules daily. I think I might have a weekly one. I can't remember there. Um, but check those ones out. I'll try and remember to leave links to these that I mentioned down in the description box below. Um, but our schedule or routine, really, as I like to call it, is pretty much the same each day. And we do our focused learning in the morning. We always begin our mornings with some type of documentary watching. We do some quiet reading time. Then we do some of our focused learning time. And again, as I mathematics um, is an individual subject, but for but for everything else, we come and do that together. And then we tend to spend our afternoons either in our own endeavours or we're out and about doing things with other homeschoolers. Uh, the other thing that I probably should point out with our schedule is that we do school to a normal school year. When the kids were little, I used to do the school round, but as we've gotten older, working to the school term just suits us better. Uh, in saying that, I'm not afraid for us to go on holidays during school terms or any of those things. I still don't worry about those things. But in terms of our work, my kids have a lot of friends that are in the school system. And so that just works better for their social lives if we can get our schooling done when their friends are also doing their schooling. Question seven. What is your favourite thing about homeschooling? I have a lot of favourite things. I know this is going to be a really tricky one for all of the ladies to answer, so I'm really keen to see what they say about this. But I've got to say my favourite thing is the gift of time with my children. It, it's irreplaceable. And I can see now, because I'm getting so close to the end, that how blessed, how immensely lucky... I have been, as a mother of three kids, to spend the bulk of their childhood with them. Um, it, it's the gift of time. It's the gift of connection. I have a child who's nearly 21 years old and most nights of the week he will still come and sit with my husband and I after dinner and, and chat with us each night. I, that, it, it's priceless absolutely priceless. So that is definitely the best thing for me of homeschooling. Uh, question eight. What is your least favourite thing about homeschooling? <sighs> Again, I could pick a lot of things um, because, you know, there's nothing perfect in this world. There are pros and cons to everything we do. I'm probably going to say my least favourite thing is the community's perception on homeschooling, on homeschooling mothers. Uh, it's that it, I still, even though we're much more widely accepted than what it was, there is still this perception, well, you're home all day, you know, you're not doing much, it doesn't take much effort to do what you're doing, that you sort of are kind of a bit of a lazy parent when you make these decisions or you're molly coddling your kids or, you know, any of those number of things, when the reality of that is the polar opposite. It is such a hard job. It's mentally exhausting doing what we're doing pressure that we put on ourselves because trust me most of it is <laughs> completely unnecessary but you don't find that out until down the road a little way but that pressure that we have on ourselves to get it right or to make sure that we don't mess up can be a huge burden on us um, and so I long for the day when homeschooling is genuinely seen as a completely 100% viable option and people understand whilst it's okay to choose school and I'm never going to knock school it has a purpose and it's okay to choose school it's okay that your kids you know gonna spend six hours there of learning and then come home and do another two or three hours of homework it's actually okay to do the opposite of that as well there's no one right way for our children 
to get an education and I just long for the day that that is widely accepted by everyone. That got a bit long-winded, didn't it? That answer, sorry. <laughs> okay, where are we up to? That was question eight. All right, nine. Three things you wish you knew when you first started homeschooling. So the first one I'm gonna say is that it would all be okay. This, and I'm not gonna lie, I still struggle with this. I've still got two kids that haven't yet graduated so you know my little saying is the proof is in the pudding and it really is but it's also letting go of that 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 is out of my control and my kids lives are their lives and they will make of them what they will so yes the first one would be that everything is going to be okay and that if I genuinely have my kids best interests at heart I'm not going to mess this up number two is definitely to trust in myself so they're very really interlinked one and two but uh, it's just knowing that I can do this that I don't need uh, a degree or any of those things we don't need those things we genuinely don't need them the world is our oyster in this day and age everything we need is right there at the touch of our fingertips we can literally find any piece of information that we need to find to help our children but yes knowing that I can do this <laughs> and the third thing that I wish I knew about homeschooling is you do not need to have all of the curriculum I mean you guys see this little tiny narrow view behind me and I know I still need to do a room walkthrough with you and one day I will do that but you don't need to have it all you absolutely can homeschool with the internet the library uh, maybe a couple of good books you don't need to spend hours and all of those dollars in investing in every bright shiny object that comes across your path question 10 one thing that you want new homeschoolers to know so i want to come up with something that i haven't already said for you especially if you're new okay i think for me the big one that i want to be able to share with you is that you are just as important in this journey as your children don't neglect the fact that you are human that you have needs wants and desires it's not all about your children um, even though as a mother I completely understand that and our kids are always going to come first that's not what I'm saying but don't leave yourself at the bottom of the barrel every single time the more you invest in you and that old saying of the more you fill your cup truly truly trust me on my life experience of this the better you are able to fill the cups of those that you love in your household take that with you and find those things that bring you joy and nourish you because the worst thing that i think we can possibly do is neglect ourselves so badly that we get to the point that we are so resentful of those around us that we just want to give up and none of it seems to be working when all we need to do is sometimes be a little bit selfish and put ourselves first now I just quickly want to remind you again don't forget to check out all of the other meet the teacher videos in this collaboration there will be a link in the description box so I do hope you found that interesting thank you all so much for being here until next time Bye for now.